For any construction project to be successful, it requires effective collaboration between multiple different parties. All these different parties need to come together to deliver the project. Contracts facilitate this collaboration process. In this introduction section, we'll talk about why collaboration is critical to the success of engineering projects, what contracts are and how they facilitate the collaboration and the importance of understanding and being able to interpret and use construction contracts. On any construction project, there will be multiple different organisations involved, including the project owner or client who decides what they want built and then finances it, the designer or architect who develops the technical solution, the head contractor who manages the overall delivery of the project, and subcontractors who specialise in portions of the works. Each of these parties has skills and expertise that are critical to the success of a project. Even the most basic project would require even some things to be outsourced to another party. It's impossible for any single company to complete all the works using their own internal resources. There's no way around it. Collaboration between companies is always required. Whenever we collaborate, we need a fair way of defining each party's rights and obligations, responsibilities and cost, time and agreed working conditions. That's effectively what contracts are. They're a legally binding promise or agreement between parties. They define and record what's been agreed to, each party's rights and obligations, responsibilities and costs, time and agreed working conditions. These agreements are then legally binding, meaning the courts will enforce them if either party fails to fulfil their obligations. Another way of thinking about contracts is like the rules of a game of chess. The chess rules define what we are and aren't allowed to do. They're the rules for how to play the game so it's fair and works for everybody. Contracts are the rules defining how two parties need to deal with one another. There are really two key stages in contract management. The first is the contract formation stage. This is where the contract between two parties is formed. In construction management, this is the procurement process where a client or project developer finds and selects a head contractor or the head contractor finds and selects subcontractors. There are certain minimum requirements that need to be in place for a contract to exist. Next comes the contract administration stage. This is where the service provider or seller organisation completes the contracted works and the buyer organisation pays the agreed-upon price for it. Being able to understand the contents of these agreements and use them effectively is critical to the success of an engineering project as well as your own career success as a project engineer. On any single construction project, there will be lots of these agreements. The construction industry is also notoriously a low-margin industry where there's lots of competition. Project cost and time blowouts are a regular occurrence. Unplanned and unknowable risks eventuate often. These circumstances lead to regular and frequent disputes on projects. The head contractor will often be looking at ways to claim for additional time and money from the client and subcontractors may argue with proposed back charges. Regardless of the specifics of the situation, your ability to understand, form and administer contracts properly will help drive your success in the industry.